Ah, oh, shit. Josiah's about to win. Look at my points. Man, this sucks. It's from a score of 90 that we need to get to beat this game. Oh, man. No! Excellent. Not excellent. It's not excellent. How in the world is he scoring? I don't get it. What's up, you guys? How you guys doing today? Hope y'all are doing really great. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play dominoes on Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm with it. Domino, motherfuckers. It took me a while, guys, to learn how to play dominoes, but I finally got it. So here's how you can learn. First, you have two opponents. In this case, we have Arthur Morgan versus Hosea Matthews. This is called the tile. Each competitor will start with seven tiles. Whoever finishes their tiles first wins the game. So how do you win, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. You're the one who starts the game, Arthur. In this case, you are Arthur Morgan. This place right here, guys, is called the Boneyard. This is what you use when you don't have tiles that match the other tiles that are on the table. This is a tip that I can give you guys. You should start with the highest tile that you have. For example, on this one, I had a six and six tile. That's my highest one. And that's like the highest one that you can have in the whole game. And that is 12, guys. On this match, you're playing with all threes. A multiples of threes what it means by having all threes it means that you need to have a number multiple of three for example three times one is three three times two is six three times three nine and on and on and you keep on going just like that guys it has to be a number that is a multiple of three so you can score points easily score that amount and you will earn those points. Okay, I started the match with the first tile. You see right here that Hosea, he's getting more tiles from the boneyard because he doesn't have a tile that matches with the number six. Hosea finally got a tile that he needed so he can match the tile that I put out. But look at the edge score right here. It changed to 13. Here's why. If you see a vertical tile, guys, that means that you are going to add both sides of the tile numbers. On mine, it was 6 plus 6, that's 12. And on the outer bit that is not 6, you see it's, it's 1. You add that number with the 12. And that's why the number right now is 13. The edge score number is 13. For my next move, I added a new tile to the previous one that Hosea put on. You see the edge score, it has changed to 17 guys. Remember, you always add the vertical tiles and that gives you 12 plus the 5 because it's the outer bid number for this tile that I just put out. So you add those numbers and it should give you 17 guys. That's why the number has changed. To 17 right now okay now I added a new tile on the different side of the table guys it's not on the right side anymore it's on the left side so you see right here guys that I match a tile that has the six on it on this one the edge score has changed to a three here's why you see the three is on the outer bit like it's not connected to another domino and on the other side guys the outer bit you see it's zero like there's no dots on the tile so that is why three plus zero equals three and the edge score right now is three and that's basically it guys you're just adding the outer bits for the tiles and that's how you keep on scoring points if y'all were paying attention i scored three points on this turn that i just did See, it's not that hard, guys. <laughs> I know it's like it's really difficult at times, like to understand it. But now you you get it, right? 
If you still don't get it, just rewind this video, guys. You are going to understand, all right? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure to go follow me on my social medias. And if you still have questions, guys, leave them on the comments below. As always, guys, live to the fullest.